Hi guys, good evening. So now let's continue to the next part. So that is bearing bottom half and bearing top half. Both I will do it uh, simultaneously because there is a minor difference between those two. So here I can see that the bottom one is bearing bottom half and this one is bearing top half. It's very easy and this they will do it with several methods. So first method is that they will draw the same pattern and they will go into revolve it for uh, 180 degrees. Right? There are different methods are there. So one of the easiest method uh, which I will do it is. So first uh, let me create uh, two semicircles. One is of diameter 50 mm and second one is of 25 mm. And I will cover up this and I will pad it up uh, or I will uh, extrude it uh, by distance of 50 minus 36 by 2 that is uh, 7 mm. I will select the end of this face. And I will draw two more semicircles. One is of 38 mm and one is of 25 mm. And I will cover it and I will pad it up by a distance of 36 by, sorry, 36 minus 22 by 2. That is again it is 7 mm. And I will select the end of this face and I will draw two circles, sorry, semicircles of one is of 35 and second one is of 25 mm. And I will pad it up by a distance of 22 by 2 that is 11 mm. Once it is done, let me mirror it up. If you draw a circle of uh, 6 mm and if you extrude it, it will become bearing bottom half. You draw one circle of 4 mm and cut it out, it will become the bearing top. Right? So let me do it. So first starts with uh, 50 and 25. So I will go to the sketch and for this I will choose the front view. I will go to the arc with the center point. Right, the first one is I will take the uh, dia 50 by 2. Second one is 25 by 2. Let me cover up this live with line. Finish it. Go to the extrude. Extrude this for a distance of 7. Once it is done, I will select the end of this as a face first one with the same 25 mm I will draw one and the second one I will draw at a distance of 38 by 2 Take up the line and then I will join. Finish it. So let me pad it up by distance of again 7 mm. Which is the stitch. Now I will choose the sketch. Arc with center point. First and the second one is thirty five by two. What is the line command? Let me join this and I will pad it up by distance of uh, right. You can see that it is 22 by 2, that is 11. Okay. 
once this is done let me go to the mirror right whole component has to be mirrored the mirror plane is this click on finish click on finish now for this if you draw a cutout of 4mm right it will become bearing top of if you protrude it we will going to get a bearing bottom so first let's do the bearing bottom so choose a left view right for that i need to draw a, a protrusion right for protrusion i will take a, a offset distance 1 mm less so we will put the construct offset plane so i will offset this plane So that is thirty five by two, right? Thirty five by two, right? That is seventeen point five minus one mm. I will take, right? So okay. click on OK. Now I will go to the sketch. I need to create one hole here of for the hole die six mm. So make it a die of six mm, and the distance is that is twenty five mm. Let's make it at a distance of twenty five mm. Right? Finish it. The pad distance is five mm, but I have taken one mm inside, so I will give six mm as a extrude. So it has become the cut. So six mm, I will join. Click on OK. So this is the material for this is the brass. So I will go to the physical material. So I will, yeah, I have brass here. Right. Click on OK. I will go to create a body. Can rename it. Bearing bottom half. Let me save this. So, this completes your bearing bottom half. So, in order to create a bearing top half, right? No need to create it again. We can replicate this. So this can be done. You can right click on this bearing bottom half. You have one option called as copy. You select that. Once you select that, a copy to dialog box will be popped up. You select the same working directory and select the copy. So once it is done, you can see that item copied successfully, and you can see that one more uh, bearing bottom half will be popped up, created. You can right click on that. You can create a rename so you select bearing top option once it is done you close this uh, you can double click on this so it will open right we can see the bearing uh, top half so let me close this and the only thing i don't need for this is i don't need this protrusion or extrude right what you can do that you can delete that extrude once you delete that extrude, go to the sketch, choose the top plane, right? So you can see that I need to draw one hole of 4 mm in dia. Select, you draw one circle of 4 mm. Go to the dimension. Make sure the distance between this to this is 25 mm. Finish it. Go to the extrude. You extrude it. Click on OK and save this. 
so this completes your bearing top off so in a single uh, part creation we can do both that is bearing bottom half as well as bearing top off thank you